What are you trying to do, babe? Um, thought this would be lift upable. Instead, I just tore some of the plywood off. <laughs> so this is our old eight foot by eight foot deck that we built just to tie us over last year. This is all the wood we just got so that we can build a 12 foot by 24 foot deck. Look at all that mud. Yeah, this is the basic construction we used. It's awfully really flexy because uh, we didn't use thick enough plywood or we didn't put the boards close enough together or both because, you know, we're amateurs. Hunter's excited because Brad's walking over here right now. Hi, Brad. Uh, you want to be, be in the YouTube video? Sure. <laughs> so Cody's going to try and maneuver this so that it kind of covers the, this muddy area here. Okay, so you can kind of see how muddy it is here. So we had to lay down some mulch and some boards. I wish I could have shown you guys how gross this was. Because trying to empty the tanks here, it was just like pure puddle like you, you can't really tell on camera but like well some of it's frozen but this is all water it's just water and mud see Look at that water and mud it's still cold enough out that everything's freezing but can you hear it squishing it's so gross so yeah that's what we're dealing with and our whole yard looks like this so we're going to try and cover it all up with a deck. And yeah, right, babe. So the first step is obviously, you know, crack a beer. And now we're going to start taking the deck apart. The old deck. And the, I don't... the first screw is stripped. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can drunk help. That would be why. We're not off to a ball and start. It's like broken in half. I know. That's what happens when you screw too hard. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should just leave the deck intact and just put it somewhere else in the yard. Do we really need to take it apart? Well, I was hoping to reuse these boards. Put it on boards. the back side. Could we use those boards? Yeah, we could. They just wouldn't be as pressure treated, but whatever. And then we just have an extra deck that's here, but I guess we can take it apart later. Uh -huh. Or use it to cover up the side. Okay, so we're going to leave this alone for now and start taking that stuff apart. Well, I'm just going to move this out of the way so Valerie can rake up some of the mulch in preparation for later um, because we're going to build the deck kind of over there where the dog is. And then once we got the frame built, we're going to drag it into place. And also we need time for that frozen into the ground little mat there to come out. Um, so I'm going to move this. Valerie's going to rake the mulch out of the way. And then we're going to start building out in the middle of nowhere and drag a real heavy thing over once the frame is built. You are just disgusting, guys. What are we doing? Laying out the frame. Whacking the cameraman. Don't hurt yourself, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Just the perimeter, right? You don't want me to bring in the... Yeah, just the perimeter frame. Okay. That's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> These pieces, because the boards are all going to be running this way. These pieces are going to stand up like so with the 2x4 up like this. Mm -hmm. That way, the load-bearing pieces are also resting on this and not just dependent on two screws to hold all the weight plus people walking around. Oh, gotcha. Okay. This deck is actually going to be gigantic. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Drill it over here. It's like half of any major building project is finding the thing you just had 10 seconds ago.
What are we doing, guys? Well, we got the bulk of the frame built. Now we're just uh, laying out. currently working on screwing on the braces or supports, whatever the heck you call them, and then we can start putting on the actual deck boards. Look how muddy this yard is. Disgusting. Thank God we're building a deck to cover this up. How's it going, guys? Good. So, I'm taking a quick break because my back is killing me, and Valerie and Bradley are continuing on. Look at it. That's what we've got done today. So far, we are about six hours in. That's pretty decent progress considering how big the deck is, uh, 12 by 24. Um, it didn't work out quite right, and we're gonna have to jigger it a little bit uh, right in the middle there. But that's where we're at so far. Half of the deck done. Yeah, it took like two hours. <laughs> and now we are doing we're <laughs> doing this half of the deck here. Look how muddy it is. There's still so much mud over here. The deck is not big enough to cover it. I don't know what we're gonna do. done. Somehow we've managed to be four boards short. Don't know how that happened. It's because Valerie did the, the ordering based on mathematical certainty and she forgot to add 25% stupid tradesmen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we've got our fire pit over there and the old deck down here. You can still see how muddy it is. Under here there's just like puddles of mud and there's tons of mud over there by the fire pit. So we're hoping that'll dry out. But the deck itself turned out really good, I think. I mean, I'm happy with it. Okay, so we're outside. Hunter's chilling on the deck like a villain. That's my gloves. <laughs> really exciting shit's about to go down. So we got the last four deck boards that we need to finish this side. And then we also got some round bricks to make a fireplace. And then some paving stones or sidewalk blocks, or I don't know what you'd call them, to hopefully try and make like a semi-decent path going from the deck out to the car so we're not stepping in mud. Attempting to work on a path. Cody's just trying to space out these blocks leading up to the patio here. As you can see, we have a finished deck. Ta da! <laughs> Good job, baby. It Some, was all you, babe. A few other, and don't mind the mess, we were burning stuff yesterday, and Cody had a lazy cleanup. But we got ourselves a little fountain. Look how pretty. It freezes up every night, but you know. A bird bath <laughs> also is. freezes up every night. <laughs> and it is frozen. <laughs> but look at this, look at this ball and fire pit we made. It looks awesome. Cody did a good job. It looks so much nicer than that old one we had. Hunter's happy with it too. Yeah. 
Now, as you can see, there's still a lot of mud in our yard. This part's okay, like there's a decent amount of grass, but I think we're gonna have to buy some grass seed Yeah. to put down. Yeah, I think uh, grass seed, cover it with mulch. Yeah. Protect it. And then mulch the mulch the grass to grow. Cody built this really awesome pathway, which I mean, when, it, when the ground thaws and the mud softens out, they still kind of slip around a little bit. But they're not that bad. I mean, it's better yeah. than stepping in mud. So I don't know how much of this we filmed. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I got really lazy with this. Um, I basically just put out a string that Valerie could use as a visual aid. And then we got them kind of straight. Uh, they're not really square or level, mm -hmm. but I used, what is it? Where is it? It's this thing right here. <laughs> I used this fella, once we had the spacing right, to just dig up the grass under the blocks and put them in. <laughs> Good job, babe. It's almost like I figured out what I was doing by accident. What do you want, brother? Shake hands? Oh, come <laughs> on. Hello. This guy just wants attention. You just want some love, don't you? Oh, good boy. Can you move? <laughs> Would you like to dance, sir? Dancing on your deck. <laughs> Trying to eat my hands. Somebody's just full of energy today. It's because I gave him coffee. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually give him coffee. Calm down, internet. <laughs> you a drink? That's my drink. Give me that drink. Give me that drink. <laughs> Having a dog with a muddy yard sucks. Give me that drink. But he's so cute. Just look at him. How could you not love that dog? <laughs> 